I'm a lifestyle wedding photographer and branding photographer based in the Netherlands and every week I come up live on my Facebook page and I talk about wedding photography topics, engagement topics, um, also personal branding. I'm now, um, I now got into the world of personal branding photo shoot. Well, I've been doing this for a while but now I am marketing it more online. So I also talk about personal branding photo shoot, a little bit of my personal life but more more than anything, this is, this is an opportunity for us to connect on a more deep and personal level. So if you're here, thank you for being here. And um, you probably have noticed that I have this Steve Job turtleneck. And the reason is that I have a really bad cold right now. I feel horrible. Um, I have my buddy with me, which is ginger tea, with fresh ginger with um, lemon and a little bit of honey. My mom told me that I have to cut the, the ginger really fine because first I had to like cut this this size and she, she was like, no, you, you should cut it more, more, more small pieces. So this is what I'm doing right now. So this is my life basically. Um, so that's why I have my turtleneck today on, um, trying to get better. But um, hey, I'm here. I'm showing up. I, I've committed myself to show up every week and to, to give some value to you. So if you're here show me some love let me let, i don't know beta scap um get well soon uh, something uh, let, let me feel your love so if you're watching the replay please let also share with me your love so um also thank you for being here but um today i want to talk um about one specific topic but before that if you have been here for a while you know that um yesterday i upload i share a podcast episode of uh, where I was a guest, but this podcast was more in Papiamento, which is my native language. I, I'm from Aruba, and now uh, my first language is um, Papiamento, so that's the reason why it was in Papiamento. But today I thought, you know, I'm gonna talk a, a little bit about it. So the whole idea behind this podcast is that three three guys are going to sit and just talk about one specific topic. So we talk about social media, Instagram removing likes, and also how we can show what we, me and you, can use social media to promote our business, to to grow a personal brand, and to just show, or not even, maybe not even business, maybe you just want to show a little bit of your expertise, how beneficial social media can be. I also talk a little bit of how I um, how I use social media to promote my own personal brand. So if you can understand the pavimento and you wanna um, have a, um, get have a listen to it, it's also on my Facebook page. So so if you're here, scroll down and you will get it. But just stay here with me a little bit. When we finish here, then you will go. All right. So. Um, we talk about social media. We talk about um, um, a, li a, a lot, a, a, a bit of, of everything. But what I like the most is that um, one of the topics that is really hot right now, which is Instagram removing likes, and we talk about that. So people, so some people think that um, well, there are different sides side of the stories, right? Uh, one side could be that um, Instagram remove likes, likes, so people can can. Um, uh, because it's not the first time that we hear why is my floor wet did it drop water oh i may have dropped water over there that's really weird that's awkward okay let me, let me oh wow I, I okay so uh where was i i just got distracted i just okay anyhow so um yeah so i was talking about i just i have no idea what's, what i was talking about okay so okay about instagram likes so um <laughs> um, 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 um so um the one side i uh, um that we have noticed is that people has um used like we uh, our behavior has the end consumer has shown that um, um, likes start defining who we are if we are enough if we are pretty enough if we are handsome enough if we are talented enough if we we started using these likes the the vanity metric the the amount of followers we have in order to feel like we're important which is never the case so that's one of side of the story that Instagram wanted to get rid of that feeling of how we think and how we we are using social media and likes to to self validate ourselves, while 
that's not the case because you can easily buy likes you can easily buy followers so that's one of that's the pr version of instagram telling the way they did it but also there's another side sell, saying that um well um, one thing that really got promoted that really got highlighted on on instagram is influencer marketing and we have seen that uh, or instagram have seen that companies are approaching the influencers which are using the platform for free because we i can take my phone and i can use instagram for free and as an influencer company would um would um approach me and ask me um hey can you product can you promote this product for me for your audience and i will say yes and i get paid from that cost from that company but instagram was like hey wait a minute these people are for free on my platform and they're making money and i'm not making money so they said no 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 no. wait a minute so now removing likes would would um uh, would would be more difficult to use influencers marketing on on um on Instagram so the, the what Instagram wants that those companies are going to promote their services via directly via Instagram all right so that's another side of sorry but we were really deep into that podcast and that is not the topic of today so I don't want to get off track so friends today I want to talk about something because about about personal branding photos but um, I want to get more into details about the planning because I know how diff- difficult it could be to have a lot of inspiration, a lot of, 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 of excitement and ideas and maybe Pinterest boards and everything that of ideas of what you want. But still, you feel like when you get to that moment, you will feel stuck. You do not know with what type of photos you would want or what type of photos you would need, actually. So that, that, this is why where I come in. I want to help you to plan your personal brand a photo shoot that you know when you show up these are the photos that you will need for your shoot these are the photos are that you're going to use for your social media for your website or maybe your newsletter so today i want to talk about three must have personal branding photos because personal brand or because um if you have a personal brand personal branding photos um, per, um, um, photos on brand photos of your business personal brand is of personal photos of you will help you um, show up on social media consistently will help you ha- will help you have on brand images that will give you the opportunity to show up every day and talk about your business because at the end of the day we have to so we have to look at social media like a platform to start conversation that's exactly why I'm here I'm here talking about three must have personal branding photo shoot um personal branding photos that you will need for your personal branding fo- photo shoot i'm starting a conversation over here and that is exactly what i want for you i want you to use these photos for you to show up on social media to be consistent and to have a plan and strategy behind your mar- marketing efforts online so the per- the first photo that you will need for your personal branding photos is simple a headshot I mean, seriously, people want to see the person behind that account, behind the website, behind the Instagram account, behind the social media. We want to see who you are. It's awkward when you when you go to on a, on a, on a person on an on a Instagram or a Facebook page and you see a logo on their profile picture. Like, how I'm going to talk with a logo? It, it makes no sense to me, especially if you have a personal brand. Um, if you have a personal brand. It also makes sense for me to see your logo on your on your um, profile picture. So a simple headshot, no, not a simple one, a creative headshot with which will showcase your personality, which will showcase your your how you, uh, who you are. Like we want to say the we want to see that beautiful face of yours. So numero uno, headshots make sure you get a really nice headshot of yours and make sure that you get a, um, different different types of photos so you want vertical photos you want horizontal photos we want to use the um so in photography we have something that is called the rule of third so let's say this is your camera right we have to um, break the camera in three even um 
slices, do I say three even parts? Let's use parts. <laughs> so um, when we when we uh, when we cut, oh, I'm so over the place. Uh, when we cut it with three even um, 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 parts, we will get four points. Make sure, or like in, well, you can take a photo like this. Oh, let me use my screen for example. Okay, this is the screen, right? This is a simple photo. But if you go like this, you're using a rule of third. So here could be a line, and here could be another line. I am standing in the in the middle of this line. You get the point? So let me know if this is clear, which probably isn't. Let me know in the comments, and I will I will get deeper if that's something you want to learn about. So, numero dos is, number two is, a detailed photo. Props that represents your expertise. So this photo was taken in Madrid. Um, um, this, was, this was a DJ. He's a DJ in Madrid. He plays in Ibiza and different places in Spain. So I wanted to show his expertise. How, what are the things that he, he's doing when he's behind the scenes? Because let's be real. Online, we see most of the finished products the beautiful image that went through Lightroom and Photoshop and get all the editing, the final product is online. The, the podcast, the video, the, but what is not seen online is the behind the scenes. And this is the perfect opportunity for you to show how you work behind the scenes. So maybe you're a photographer, you want to show how you, it doesn't have to be you taking photos. For example, I did a, photo, a personal branding photo shoot of mine last Saturday and I was using my phone. I'm always on my Instagram stories connecting with you. So I want to show you behind the scenes of how I do it. I want to show you photos of how I am um, guiding my, my couples. These are behind the scenes photos that I we want to show online so people get to know and feel that they trust us a little bit more. So finally, the last which I literally just talked about which is behind the scenes you doing what you do best exactly you doing what you do best we are all unique we are we all have one unique talent that we have we would like to share with the world we all have one unique something i am good with i am good with photography i you might be good with whatever show that expertise online let people see who you are and who's the person behind the business who's the person behind your account who's the who's the person behind that website so let's recap First, you want a headshot. People want to see your beautiful face. You also want a detailed photo. Detailed photo of the things that you work. It could be a headphones if you're a DJ. It could be my camera if you're taking photos of a camera. It could be, uh, let's say, for example, you like listening to podcasts. You can also use a, a headphone because you can talk about how you like listening to podcasts. Um, think, it doesn't have to be this product and service that you are providing, but things that that represents who you are and lastly behind the scenes photos show people who you are and what you do we want to see the real you we want to see you doing exactly what you do best so friends that's all i have for you today i am so 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 thankful for you joining me today i'm gonna try to get better i feel my my throat it's really hurting it's really hurting me right now so i'm gonna um, um keep this um short and sweet so thank you for being here i will see you guys next week next week cheers <laughs>